to another English Transformation YouTube video. My name is Paul, and if you haven't been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. On this channel, I post videos to help you improve your English as quickly as you possibly can, and even more so than you may already have done. So whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or even advanced, you can learn something and improve your English very quickly. That's what I want to do with my students, is help them improve quickly. So if that sounds like something you would like, please consider liking and subscribing. It would help me a lot. And in this coming year, there is a lot of cool stuff planned and hopefully a lot of cool stuff coming. Anyway, in this video, we're going to have a look at homonyms. Strange, right? Strange sounding word. Homonyms. Um, basically, there are two types that you can think about. They are homophones and homographs. They sound horrible. We'll get that meaning out of the way very, very soon. And then uh, we can have a look at some examples because I've got 12 of those for you. Homophones are words that are spelt differently, sound the same, and of course have different meanings. And homographs are words that are spelled the same, sound the same, and of course have different meanings. Cool. That's all up there, above my finger, or in the description below. So, homophones, spelt differently, sound the same, different meaning. Homographs, spelt the same, sound the same, different meaning. I could keep saying that all day. I'd probably be confused. How about you? So let's have a look at some homophones. Number one is weak, and that is spelt both W-E-A-K or W-E-E-K. Now, the first one, weak, W-E-A-K, means lacking in strength. So if you've been in a fight, if you have been playing sport for 90 minutes, you've been running around, maybe you've been lifting weights, you might not have much strength left, so you feel weak. Or maybe you are sick, you feel weak. Maybe you're just not strong, so you are weak. Uh, the other meaning, W-E-E-K, is seven days, right? I had a week off because it was Christmas, so I had a holiday. Cool. Number two is sun. The first way we could spell it is S-U-N, and that is the big star in the sky that is orange and provides us with sunlight and heat. And the other one is the male child, right, a son. Uh, my favorite son is Hyung Min Sun, who plays for Tottenham Hotspur. There's a picture of him now. There you go. Sound the same, look different, homophones. The next one is C, S-E-E -E or S-E-A. C, of course, you can see this, I can see this. It's vision, S-E-E. -E. S-E-A is the ocean. I like to swim in the sea, but not very deep because sharks uh, live in the sea and I don't like sharks. So, here you go. Uh, number four. Number four is plain. P-L-A-N-E and P-L-A-I-N. Uh, plane, the first one, P-L-A-N-E, is airplane, right? Big metal bird flies in the sky, takes me to Japan, and then back to Australia. And plane, P-L-A-I-N, just means, well, it could mean boring, but it really means, like this t-shirt, that's plane, there's no pattern, there's no design on it, it's simple, right? Plain. Maybe no flavour. My children like plain tasting food. Food with not much flavour. Number five is meat. M-E-E-T and M-E-A-T. Of course, the first one, meat means to get together with your friends. Maybe you meet people by chance or maybe you plan it, but it means to get together with people. And the other one is what we eat, unless you're a vegetarian. M-E-A-T is meat, like steak or chicken or something like this. Number six is cereal. Number one, C-E-R-E-A-L, and the other spelling is S-E-R-I-A-L. The first one is the breakfast cereal, the food that you eat, such as cornflakes or rice puffs or whatever it is you might eat for breakfast, those types of things. 
And the second one, S-E-R-I-A-L, is like the TV series that you watch, Friends or something like this. Now let's look at homographs. Homographs are words that are spelt the same and sound the same, even though they have different meanings. And I've got six for you. The first one is milk. And of course, it's spelled the same, so there you go, it's milk. Um, you know milk, the drink that you have on your cereal from the previous example. But there are a couple of other meanings. One of them, if I lived on a farm or I went to a farm and there were cows, well, I could go underneath the cow and get his udders, or her udders, I suppose, and uh, squeeze those udders and milk would come out. So I can get milk from a cow, basically, it's, it's to milk, get liquid out. Careful. Um, and another example of milk could be to exaggerate a little bit, get a lot of something, a lot of sympathy, let's say. So if my daughter has hurt herself and she gets sympathy from me, she might play on that and try to get more and more sympathy from me and get me to do even more things for her. Number two for homographs is mean. Of course, you might know mean, you might know uh, both meanings, but meanings, there you go. Um, mean is what we would use if we don't understand something. I might ask, what does this word mean? What is the meaning? Can you explain it to me? Uh, but I might also use mean to describe somebody that is nasty and not very nice to us. Again, my daughter calls me a meanie when I, uh, when I tell her she's got to brush her teeth or go to bed or tidy her toys away. I'm a meanie. Cool. Number three is greys. Of course, the first meaning you... I don't know if you'd know the meaning. Maybe you would. Let me know in the comments below if you knew the meaning to this. Anyway, the first meaning of greys would be if I was skateboarding. I don't know why I'm doing that. If I was skateboarding and I fell over and I kind of scratched myself, scratched my arm a bit, that might be a graze. I just brushed against the concrete and it scratched me a bit. I grazed my arm. But another meaning could be to eat slowly over a long period of time. I'm just grazing. Cows do it, they graze on the grass, and people do it weekends or weddings or something like this, maybe. They just eat a little bit here and a little bit there. They are grazing. I bet you haven't used that. Number four is left. We can use this to mean, uh, well, you know that the meaning is, this is my left arm, right? Left, you know that. Turn left, turn right, turn left, you know these. It also means leave, so the bus left at seven o'clock. It means leave. Um, it also means remaining. So I think my memory card has about five minutes left. This video, I'm not sure how much is left. Um, so it means remaining. Cool, couple of meanings. Number five is bar. Few meanings to this as well, obviously, because that's the whole video. Uh, the first one might be like a, a pub, somewhere you go to have a drink, right? That would be a bar. Another meaning might just be a long piece of metal that somebody would hit. Hopefully they wouldn't hit you or me, um, but that's what it could be, a metal bar, maybe gold or silver. That would be cool. Number six is bank. Of course, it's the place you go to put your money and hopefully get it back with lots more in return. It also is the edge of the river, right? So you're not in the water. The grassy area at the edge is the river bank. A couple of meanings there for you. There are lots, lots more. I will make videos with lots more. You could put in the comments what you know of homonyms, homophones, and homographs. Cool? See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.